Out of Victoria Harbor in Canada, aboard the seagoing barge Alexander, scientists and sailors prepare for an ocean voyage where no living person has gone before, a half mile under the waves. Here's the man who will take the plunge, noted biologist, author, and scientist, Dr. Alfred Latimer. And here's what he expects to dive in, a 5,000-pound steel bubble. Equipped with the most modern scientific apparatus, the steel walls of the diving bell are one and a half inches thick. One flaw in the steel, and under the great pressures of the ocean, the walls would crack like a walnut. Dr. Latimer's steel bubble or bathysphere will sink through layers or zones of the ocean. Mrs. Norma Hampton, the expedition secretary, describes the first part of the dive. The bathysphere will pass through the surface zone, the thin top layer of the ocean. The surface zone is mostly clear, lighted by the sun, relatively warm. Most of what we know about the ocean comes from here. Most familiar fish, for example, are surface zone animals. But no one's ever gone deeper than this before. And what do they expect to find down there? Maybe a big brother of this. Or relatives of these. Whatever waits below, we wish Dr. Latimer and his crew a safe journey and good diving. Sir. Yes, we wouldn't want you to break a leg now. That's a kindly sentiment, Soames. Blast. Here's my watch. Broken, I'm afraid. Family heirloom? There's nothing, really. Mrs. Hampton, can you hear me? Uh, yes, Dr. Lane, clearly. Latimer? Bye. Go on, take it. It's only alone. I want it back. Thank you, Soames. Stand clear, Cable! Bring it up, Bob! Bring it up! Bring it up! That's it! That's the port side! All right, she's clear! Take it down! Sunlight shining through them like like silver clouds. Around me, the water is is full of plankton. Almost dinner for a shark. <laughs> Below me, it's black as night. Just darkness everywhere. Six hundred feet. I thought I saw something earlier, shining. Perhaps I shouldn't have used the spot. Stop! Stop there! Stop cable! Dr. Latimer, what is it? Bioluminescence. It glows. But here in the darkness, it's unlike anything anyone ever saw before. <laughs> Mr. Thomas! Hold her steady, man! I can't! I can't keep up! Stay like a toy man! Just let him! Reverse! There's no other way!
down. He's got no power or communications. He's got three hours of air if he conserves his oxygen. Latimer, remember the breathing. The breathing. It's all right. They'll bring you up. Energy. Uh, 
God's sakes, man, can you hear me? We fixed the winch, Latimer. We got you back. Are you... Can you hear me, Latimer? Take the door off. Look! Latimer? Latimer? He's alive! Latimer is alive! He's alive! He's alive! He's alive. Latimer's alive! Oh, oh. He's alive! Latimer's alive! It covers more than 70% of the planet's surface. It is easily the largest single place on Earth. Yet we know less about it than we do the moon. We want to change that. 